So today's tutorial is all about page numbers in Microsoft Word. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a little document for me to have a play with. And I'm just going to create some auto text. So I've got something on screen. I did that by typing equals R-A-N-D open bracket 12 comma 12 close bracket. That gives me 12 paragraphs, each with 12 sentences in them. And you can see here it's just created a four page document. So if I press Control and Home, I'll go back to the start. Right, page numbers. Go to your Insert tab and then towards the right hand side in your header and footer option, you go to page numbers. And if I click on the little drop down arrow, it gives me lots of different options. I can have page numbers at the top of pe my page, at the bottom, in the margins or in the current position where my cursor is. So if I just choose top of page, and I'm just going to stick one there. There you go, it's given me page numbers. So if I scroll down, you can see how it's automatically numbered my pages. And I've at the top, if you notice, you're now in your header and footer tab. So if I click on close, there you go, basic page numbers. If I want to amend these in any way, if I double click, it automatically opens up my header and footer tab again. And this time on the left hand side, you've got your page number options. So I'm just going to add some more. I'll put this in the page margins possibly so we can see it there. There's no reason why you can't have two page numbers. To get rid of them, you go back and go to remove page numbers and it gets rid of everything. So, what happens if your document changes? So, for example, if I go to Insert and Cover Page, I'm just going to choose one of these that Microsoft are giving me. Now, it's quite sensible. When it puts in a cover page, you can see how my page number has disappeared automatically because you wouldn't want your cover page with a page number on it. And if I scroll down, what it's done is it's labelled Page 2 as Page 1. So I might want to change this and I can do this by, if I double click on it, go to the drop down arrow and this time go to format page numbers and I can choose in this little menu box here, you can choose your number format. You can have Roman numerals, ABC, numbers, it depends entirely on what you want. But here at the bottom where it says start at, I can choose number two say OK. And now if I have a look at my document, I'll just close my header and footer. You can see it's labelled the second page as number two, which is exactly what I wanted. So at some point you might not want standard numbering in a document. You might be working with other people who are perhaps producing other parts of the report or you might be working um, with other pieces of software that you might be using as part of a report and you might want to insert them into this one. Um, it's relatively easy to do. You just need to understand how to create new sections in a document. So as you can see, I've got pages two, three, and four here. Um, I might, for example, want page three to actually be page 17. And to do that, if I click at the top of this page, so my cursor's there, and I need to insert a section break. And I do that by going to my layout tab. And then here in the page setup group, I've got breaks and I click on the drop down arrow and I choose a section break. You've got lots of different sorts. I'm going to choose the next page. Now it looks like absolutely nothing has happened to my document. If I look here on my status bar, what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize it. If I right click on it and go up and just click on section here, it means my sections will be displayed on my status bar. And you can see here I'm in section two. But if I click up here, I'm in section one. So I've created a new section. What that allows me to do is have different page numbering in different sections. So here, if I go to insert and page number, I'm going to put this one perhaps in my page margins. And you can see here, it started again at page one. 
I go to Format Page Numbers. So that was on the header and footer tab in the header and footer group. I went into Page Number and choose Format. You can choose Continue from Previous Section, which would obviously link these page numbers to my previous ones. Or I've got Start At, and I'm just going to click on the up arrow to a random number and then click OK. And you can see here, if I scroll up, there's my cover page, there's my page 2. But here I'm jumping straight to page 12 and entirely different style of page numbers. Now these ones will be continued throughout my document and if, I, if at any point I wanted to go back to the original page numbering system, I'd have to insert another section break and then start a new section of page numbering again. Okay. Here on the header and footer toolbar, if I take the tick out of different first page, just because there isn't a different first page in this section, and then click on Close. And that's how you do different sorts of page numbering within one document.